What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another favorites favorites go for you. So today we are talking about my top favorite spring nail polishes for 2024. This is a video that I like to do for each season specifically for the polishes that come out for that season just because so many new polishes come out and sometimes it can get a little bit overwhelming knowing what to choose and I just like to compile a little list of my favorites for you. So normally I will do 10 favorites. Today I've got 13 favorites but that's just because I feel like three of these aren't really spring polishes. They just happen to come out for spring 2024, but they're not necessarily spring polishes. But I do have a lot of more typical springy kind of shades in here that I really enjoy. So yeah, all of the polishes are gonna be linked in the description. They're all polishes that came out for this season. So they are still currently available, but yeah, we may as well just dive into it. Starting off with KB Shimmer, What a Pearl Wants. This one just came out in their Seeing is Believing collection. And I just feel like I will always love these white iridescent flaky type of polishes, especially when they reach full coverage. But I also just love the way that they look in one coat, just to kind of add a little bit of sparkle to your natural nail. They're fun to wear as toppers. They're fun to wear on their own. And I feel like this is just the perfect kind of spring color to me because it's very light and soft and delicate, but it still brings in all of the fun colors of springtime and all of just like the idea of things blooming and stuff like that. I know, I feel like I mention a color like this every single spring, but I, I just never get tired of them. I think they're so beautiful. So I just had to add it in the list. Next up, we have Holo Taco Solo Mission. This is actually another iridescent flaky, but this time it's in sort of a medium beige base color. So we've got this almost jelly-like light brown base, and it is packed with these iridescent flakies that mostly look pink to orange to yellow. And then we also have a little hollow sparkle running throughout. And this is a formula that I haven't seen from Holo Taco before, but I instantly fell in love with it. And I would love to see a full collection of this finish. I love an iridescent flaky in a colored base. I think it just makes it so fun. And I think this just feels kind of like a neutral, but more exciting with the iridescence and the hollow in there. But I do think that it's neutral enough that you can probably get away with wearing it for more subtle, occasions or to the office or something like that. So I don't know. I just think it's very fun. I really love wearing neutrals and nudes in the springtime. Although I will say I don't have too many neutrals in this list, <laughs> but it is just something that I reach for a lot. So I know I'm going to be wearing this one a lot this season. Next up, we have the only other neutral on this list. This is Painted Polish Cocoa Crush. And I feel like this is going to be one that people either love or hate, but personally, I love this. It's a really beautiful blush beige crelly base. So it's not quite a jelly, but it's not quite as opaque as a cream because you can still see what's going on inside of it. And within that, we've got these metallic red and dusty pink flakies running throughout. And I just think this is so stunning. Again, it's kind of just like a neutral, but elevated. It reminds me of those strawberry shortcake ice cream bars. And I just think it looks really tasty, but I don't know. I, I love a neutral that has a pop of something vibrant in it. And I think that the red in here just makes it a little bit more vibrant. So again, it's something I think you can get away with wearing to the office or when you need to have more subtle nails, but it still has a little bit of interest to it. So I think it's very exciting. And like I always say, Painted Polish is a very underrated brand, so I just really love their formula. Next up, we've got one from Orly. This is Wistful Water Lily. And I gotta be honest, I don't normally love a pink, but if there's a pink that I will wear all the time, it is a light pink that has a blue shimmer in it, and that is exactly what this is. It's got a little bit of a pearlized finish, so it's a little bit streaky, which again, I know it's a love it or hate it thing. I personally love it. I think it makes my nail bed look a little bit longer longer. And even though I like to keep my nails short, I do like the idea of kind of elongating them a little bit. And I don't know, I think there's just something very subtle and feminine about this color that just feels like, I don't know, a perfect springy color, but also a perfect bridal color. And I love that the pink in here isn't dusty. It still has a lot of vibrance to it. It almost has a little bit of warmth, which gets cooled down by that blue shimmer. And then at certain angles, that shimmer actually looks a little bit like green, even into pink. So, 
I just think it's a really interesting shade and just an amazing formula. Next up, we have ILNP Lily. This was part of their velvet collection and it's actually a magnetic nail polish. So we've got this really beautiful, soft lavender jelly base. And then within that, we've got a silver magnetic sparkle as well as a very subtle hollow flaky running throughout. And I feel like this collection was meant to be worn in the velvet style because it was called the velvet collection. But what really stunned me about this one was seeing it in the cat eye style. For some reason, I just thought it looked so stunning that way. And I gotta be honest, I don't normally think of magnetic polishes as a springy kind of thing. I feel like I'm usually leaning more towards the deeper, more cosmic looking magnetic nail polishes. And this one is definitely the opposite of that. But I think having that light color and then that silver shimmer kind of softening it up a little bit, but it, it almost makes it look like the light is hitting it in a certain way and you get this beautiful soft color, but you also get the added 3D look of the magnetic. And I think just having that hollow sparkle in there also makes it look really special. So yeah, this was an unexpected favorite for me. I wasn't sure I would like this collection because it's very typical springy colors, but it did actually win me over. I, I can't resist a good magnetic and this is a good magnetic. <laughs> Next up, we've got another purple. This is Starly Shattered Mirage from their Heartbreak Hues collection. And this one, I honestly just can't resist because I have not seen anything like this before. We've got this gorgeous, almost cool toned purple base that has a jelly finish. And then within that, we've got this warmer, almost pinky kind of shimmer. And then on top of that, we also have a gold holographic hex glitter running throughout. And I just think this is so unique. It's so unlike anything I've seen before. The color is stunning. I always love purple. I think Starly actually makes some of the most incredible purples in my opinion. But I think with those gold glitters in there, it just warms it up so much. It looks so different from anything else I own. And it really does feel very springy to me. It almost kind of just feels like walking through a field of flowers. So I think it's really stunning. And then we have yet another purple. This is KB Shimmer Get Off My Tail, but this one is very different. This is definitely a deeper, more oceanic kind of color. It definitely has a lot of blue and turquoise in it. So we've got this gorgeous, almost neon purple base. It's super, super vibrant in color. And we have a duochrome shimmer in here that shifts from a royal blue into a turquoise into even a green. And then we have these gorgeous silver hollow flecks running throughout that just make it look so stunning. I love this one. I feel like this is definitely going to carry me through to the summer, but it feels like a great spring color as well, just because purple always works for spring in my opinion. And this just happens to be a really beautiful one. And then we've got another Orly. This one is Ripple Effect. This is actually what I'm wearing on my nails right now. And this is just a really beautiful blue base, almost a little bit of like a periwinkle leaning color. And within that, we have this super intense cool toned purple shimmer that at some angles looks a little bit fuchsia. And I just think this is stunning. I feel like Orly makes a lot of these sort of shades where it's like a blue, but it has a purple shimmer or a purple that has a blue shimmer. And I can never get enough of them. I will love them every single time. And this one is no exception. I think the formula is amazing. It's super opaque. I feel like this type of color looks like it would take three coats for opacity, but it does give me full opacity in two. And I think it is a very typical spring color, but having that really vibrant shimmer in there just makes it more interesting to me. So even though I don't really go for those typical spring shades, this one really caught my eye just because of the vibrance of it. Next up, we've got a polish from Mooncat. This is Garden of Evil, and this is from their Seasons of Persephone collection. And this is another one that's just unlike anything I've seen before, and I am so mesmerized by it. We've got this sort of like chartreuse green base, but then it is packed with this really intense fuchsia purple shimmer that completely changes the way that that green looks. And it's also a bit of a duochrome. So around the edges, you can actually see a little bit of like orange into gold. And then it also has a little subtle hollow flake running throughout. They actually made two greens in this collection. And this one is the more vibrant of the two. The other one was like a little bit more of like a sage green grayed out kind of color. But I think that this color, the base is just so interesting. It's kind of like that ugly, pretty kind of shade that I'm always attracted to. And I feel like this is another one that people might think is super weird, but I think that's what I like about it. It's just so different. It's such 
such an unexpected color combination and I think it really works because again it kind of has a little bit of like a floral vibe to it you know the green is like the grass and the stems and the leaves and stuff like that and then that intense purpley color is like the flowers so I don't know I think it's really beautiful I think it's really interesting moving on we have the shade glitter from OPI and this was from their spring collection it actually came out a little while ago but this was just such a standout color for me and it really doesn't feel like a very typical spring color to me honestly when I first saw it I thought of it as a fall kind of shade but looking at it now it almost feels like it's a little bit more summery it's just this really beautiful orangey gold shimmer and it's sheer enough that you can actually wear it as a topper which I have done and I love it that way but it's also really stunning on its own it just looks like sunshine in a bottle and I think that orangey base paired with that golden flaky type of shimmer just looks so beautiful and eye-catching any way that you wear it so yeah this was such a standout for me I felt very conflicted about that collection because half of it felt very autumnal and half of it felt very springy and this was a shade that I, I thought was kind of autumnal and I think I'm probably gonna be wearing it in the fall but I don't know it just feels like a good summer color too next up we have ice cream nails devil card so this is actually a red metallic flaky in a clear base that does reach full coverage and this one to me does not feel like a spring color but it did happen to come out during the springtime I really wanted to mention it I feel like you can make this work for spring if you're wearing it over a lighter color but personally what I was stunned by with this color was seeing it over black the combination of this like pinky red flaky plus the black base is just so gorgeous and I love how vibrant the red looks against it and it doesn't really melt into the color it just kind of stands out really strongly which I thought was so stunning I feel like wearing this over a pink could be more springy or even summery and again kind of give a little bit of like a strawberry shortcake kind of vibe but yeah this just feels like a perfect any time of year topper to me I just think it's so intriguing and different next up we have another shade that I don't think is particularly springy but again it just happened to come out in the spring and that is Star Crimson Twilight. This was actually a surprise favorite of mine of their Heartbreak Hues collection, which was really more of like an anti-Valentine's Day vibe. So this is more of a Valentine's kind of color specifically. And I just think this is so beautiful. I'm definitely going through a little bit of a red phase right now. So I feel like these reds are really speaking to me a little bit more than usual, but it's just a really beautiful, deep, red shimmer it's got this golden orange shimmer running throughout and the formula is just phenomenal on this one I think it's just a perfect any time of year color I feel like it definitely would work very well in the fall and it doesn't really feel like a springy color but I think it's such a beautiful shade that you could make work any time of year so I, I really like this one and last but not least we have yet another moon cap polish this is queen of the dead and this was another one from their seasons of Persephone collection this is is the first thermal that I've ever tried from them. I believe it's the first thermal that they've ever done, but it's this really gorgeous shade that when it's in its cold state, it's this beautiful deep eggplant purple cream. But then when it gets warm, it turns into this stunning cool toned deep cranberry red kind of color. And I just think this is such a fun one. I love thermal nail polish. I especially love it during this time of year where it's a little cold out, but it's getting warmer because I feel like you just see so much change on your nails and this one happens to be really sensitive to change so I felt like when I wore it my nails were constantly looking different it almost created a natural gradient on me even though my nails are very short and I usually don't get to see that with nail polishes I think it's really stunning again it's a little bit deep and dark <laughs> for springtime but I just think it's so cool and I feel like there's such a cool opportunity to do fun reveal kind of nail art with it where like you can do nail art in this dark purple purpley color and then when your nails get warm it reveals that nail art I think that would be really cool so yeah I don't know I just think it's a fun color I love a good thermal <laughs> 
But yeah, that is it for my top favorites. Like I said, not 10. We've got 13 this time, but they're all really beautiful shades. Some of them feel very typical for the season. Some of them don't feel so typical for the season, and I'm probably going to wear them a little bit later in the year, but I still wanted to highlight them because I think they're super gorgeous. I do think it's really interesting to see so many of the typical springy colors, especially because I complain about that a lot, but I also see a lot of shades that I, I don't think are very typical, so it's really interesting to see them all together. But I am curious to hear what your favorite polishes that have come out for this season are, so let me know in the comments. Like I said, all of these polishes are going to be linked in the description, so you can check them out if you're interested. And if you enjoy my favorites videos, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe. I come out with new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Angel. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact is spring themed because I don't know that I've mentioned this before, but I am not good at keeping plants alive. <laughs> we actually have a lot of plants in our house and they are all fake plants. And I've had real plants before, but I always manage to kill them. Even plants that are e like supposed to be the easiest ones to manage, the ones that you barely have to water. I, I just feel like I cannot keep them alive. And I even have had one of those little moisture meters just to keep an eye on them and make sure that the plants are doing well, but for some reason it just, I, I don't know how to take care of them. They just don't survive under my care. And I honestly feel like a huge part of that is probably just the way that Ryan and I live because I think we tend to not open the curtains or the blinds all the time. So sometimes we're just in darkness, which is probably not good for a plant. And then also we don't really keep the temperature at a consistent stage. A lot of times if it's cold outside and we're cold, we'll just wear sweatshirts and sweatpants rather than turning up the heat. I feel like that's probably not a great environment for a plant. <laughs> this season, I really want to try to get some tomato plants and try to take care of them. And I know that tomato plants require a lot of love. I actually have taken care of them and they have survived in the past. But yeah, I am gonna try to have some plants for, for the springtime. So we'll, we'll see how it goes, fingers crossed. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.